Hi. Um, I'm now right now in Goa. Been under lockdown since March 9th. And um, really is getting tedious for everyone. I hope to get back to England soon and see my daughter, who I haven't seen for two months. But much more uh, right now, what is our immediate concern is really the suffering of a lot of workers and laborers in society that have just lost their jobs overnight. And as you know, in India, uh, the informal economy is 80 to 90 percent of the workforce. And these people have just been left stranded often in cities where they don't have their homes with absolutely no uh, transportation provided them to even go back to their villages. You may have seen on the, on the, uh, on, in the media, on TV, uh, not exaggerated reports of people walking even 800 kilometers trying to get back to villages. So this is a peculiar story happening in India and unfolding. And I, I urge all of you, who I'm sure everyone's doing their little bit right now in society, people I know that I live with and now my friends all have a conscience so i'm sure everyone's doing their bit but i do i, I we are trying to mobilize an effort to really feed um uh, these many of these workers and uh, you know just as corona for every one they say infected person there is at least a hundred people that get infected i think if we can all mo think about the way in a similar way in a similar exponential pattern for every one person that can afford a meal, if we can actually feed a hundred mouths at the same time, every single day, till this situation, till this entire mess uh, is in some way gets sorted out. Now, a lot of people do tell me that, Shirish, that's all very good, but how sustainable is it? Uh, and to that, actually, quite frankly, I don't have the answer. Um, right now, you're not going to be able to solve any problem by perfecting the norm but by imperfectly seizing the unknown, so to say, because we are in uncharted territory. So I have no answer. All we need to know is that food is an essential part of everyday livelihood. And to see so many people just stranded and without food is, um, is really, really sad. So please uh, do contribute with your rations, with your foods, uh, with your money if you can, uh, whether, it, uh, and my friend Emil has been running a very fantastic uh, effort through his uh, through the Godarmic Foundation, which he has, where he's got many volunteers spread across in the UK, in India, and I commend him for his sincerity and drive towards a very good cause and something so close to our heart. To end on a uh, on really a, a poem that I love, for when the one great scorer comes to mark against your name, he writes not that you won or lost, but how you played the game. So. Wish you all well, stay safe, and I hope you will contribute. Take care, bye-bye.